Hey, so maybe you want to upgrade your Optiplex 755. Well, for twenty dollars, um, I'm gonna see what I can do. I purchased a quad four Q9 400, 2.66 gigahertz for this one, and um, well, actually, yeah. grabbed it off of eBay, twenty one ninety nine, free shipping, and uh, this is how they shipped it to me in their uh, pink Ziploc bag. Uh, I don't imagine that's anti-static or anything, but not the point. If it works, it works. Um, so it's been a while since I had this one out, so I figure I'll dust her off and uh, we'll get to the bottom of this. So what I'm working with right now is a Core 2 Duo E8 400, 3 gigahertz, and that's a dual core. And we have a Windows 8 64 bit and we have 4 gigs of DDR2. I'm not sure what speed the DDR2 is. It's been a while since I put this together. Um, what I'm going to do is do a Cinebench test on the CPU and see where we're at there. Then we'll go from there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and run the Cinebench software now. I'm just going to go ahead and check the CPU. And I really don't know what this is going to do. So for being a basic, uh, you know, data entry machine, I think uh, it scored okay. You know, nothing fantastic, but it wasn't never meant to be anything fantastic. Stored data for, you know, doctor, dentist office, whatnot, uh, grocery store or something. You know, Windows XP professional. Uh, I don't think it did too awful bad. Wasn't that dramatic, but I didn't expect it to be. Onboard, onboard graphics didn't pick up, uh, and you know we got a we got a 162 score. That's with your Core 2 Duo E8 400, 3 gigahertz. All right, with all the tools in place, I'm about to get ready to do this, and uh, I believe this is a 730 graphics card that I had got off eBay a while back. Which actually you can see somebody had cut to fit something. I'm not sure what they are going for there. Um, I figure since I have this out, I'm going to go ahead and re-thermal paste this as well. And another thing I wanted to show you is... The proper way to ship a CPU. Not so proper way to ship a CPU. Alright, I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to get going on re-thermal pasting uh, 730. I think it's like a 1 gig of DDR3 maybe. I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. I know it works really good though.
Okay, swapping the CPU. Cover off. I believe the hard drive has to come up so I can swing all the way back. So, hard drive aside.